SARS in 2003 was a very landmark event for us at the Department of Emergency Medicine. But not just that, it was also, I think, a practice changing event for the whole of the healthcare industry. For example, now we have set up a very formal fever screening area where uh, our nurses will take history on high risk travel and the fever activity of the patient and so on and so forth. And then we have a completely new department where we manage the fever patients, a new area in the department. So we have a triage area for fever patients, consultation area for fever patients and also we have a separate section for the pharmacy as well as radiology for these fever patients to actually be managed and uh, assessed. And these areas are all completely with negative pressure. So this will decrease the amount of interaction between febrile and non-febrile patients and the risk of transmission is definitely lower as well. Besides the changes in the infrastructure and the hardware which I mentioned earlier in our department, we also have a lot of software called changes that we have to do and this basically involves people's behaviour and attitudes as well. So um, since SARS, we have had to do a lot of training, education and inculcation of good habits and practices. So for example, we now have uh, you know uh, scrub suits which people will change into when they come to work and they will change out of when they uh, go home from work for example. Then we also have to educate them on infectious diseases practices, how to put on a mask properly, how to gown up for high-risk patients, how to put on uh, uh, gears for high-risk patients, for example, the certain ventilation device when we have to intubate patients or have to come into very close proximity with very high-risk fever patients. What has also come about, which is very good I feel, is the very coordinated uh, response that we now have in the hospital and institution. So we now have from the uh, infectious diseases department, we have representatives from there, we've got uh, emergency department staff, we've also got MOH uh, coordinators who are working together and they give us updates very regularly. So in the events that their surveillance pick up anything high risk, you know, happening anywhere around the world, uh, we will be highlighted. And in fact, if we do pick up certain things from our syndromic surveillance uh, you know, practices and all that, we are also able to highlight to the committee as well and they can circulate to the rest of the people who are on this committee. We live in a very rapidly changing world and the technological advancement is also going on all the time. So for all the healthcare staff, I think we have to be abreast of all these developments and changes, what's happening around the world. The world is very small. I usually like to call it the global village. You know, so cross borders, cross countries, things can happen overnight. So I think we as frontline healthcare staff especially have to be very vigilant and on our toes all the time. So this is my message to all of them.